Welcome everybody to the USF 2000. This is my very first event in this car. I've never actually driven this car yet. And uh, the reason why I sound a little bit rushed is because I have 10 minutes before the race starts to learn how to drive this car before we crash into everybody. So, let's see, does it have a pit limiter? Yes, it does. Okay. So that's one thing we have learned about this car. Uh, I've driven it a little bit in R Factor 2, but obviously it is a... It's a different car in iRacing. It's a whole different thing, and so I... Let's just stay on the inside, let this guy get around. I kind of don't know what to expect. And uh, since this is day one of this new series, I imagine there are probably going to be a lot of other people in the same situation. But even though the, the car is very cold, the brakes and the tires, it does feel way more solid than the version in R Factor 2. Although going over that curb did seem to be uh, a little scary. Maybe it's more a little bit more fragile than anticipated. I'm going to be way off the, the time. I have. I thought this track was a, a different circuit, and so it turns out I don't even know it as well as I thought I did. So maybe I should not be entering this race in 10 minutes time. But uh, we'll start at the back and we'll just get a hang for how this car drives. But there we go, we've already completed lap number one. So maybe this will actually be a relatively uh, simple circuit to learn. I think it's just that, this opening maneuver, and then a couple S turns. Then we go up the hill and then loop back down the other side of the hill and that's a lap. So I think I actually should be able to learn this track pretty quickly. It's kind of like sight reading. My only problem is I have no idea the limits of this car, so I have no idea. Whoa, we got so light as we went over that crest of that hill. Was not expecting that. Wow. So let's see, we have still the better part of 10 minutes to try to learn the track in the car. I think we'll be able to learn the, uh, the track relatively easily, but learning the car is gonna take a very long time. Oh no. I'm sure I just damaged my wing. There's no way that cutting grass is good for it. I did not know how to stop without losing it there. We're gonna get very light over here. That's tricky. That's gonna be a very tricky spot. I don't think I have to slow down nearly as much for that corner as I do. And this is a pretty that's a pretty fast corner it might even be flat out Let's see we got like five minutes left to learn this track and learn the car this car is a lot more stable it's a lot more uh, consistent than uh, it feels in R factor 2 I don't know if it's just what, what the, the the difference is there but I actually feel confident in where this car is placed and where it is put um, it doesn't jump around like something I've seen on the skip barber series Break it two. Haha! <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. <laughs> Alright, so the car is actually a lot easier to drive than I was anticipating. <laughs> of course, I say that. Alright, so we have three minutes uh, before the practice session starts, so let's try to get in one solid lap. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh boy. All right, getting our out lap going. This is my first iRacing race that's gonna start from a rolling start, not from a standing start. All right, the nerves are starting to, to, to rise, starting to get nervous. There's definitely gonna be a lot of carnage, I could feel it. If it's not me, it's someone else, or both. So I think as long as we spend our first lap trying to avoid that, uh, I think we're going to do fine. Alright, the race is underway. Our first USF 2000 race. Just stay back. Oh. All right, there's one spot. Uh-oh. Right they say you 
Fun. So that's one way to spend our very first lap. There we go. Two cars. Look at this. We have another car to race with. Of course. Wouldn't be I racing tradition without me ruining it for myself. Okay. If we can at least keep in sight of another car, that'll be so much better than spending the, the whole race alone. Whoa! Alright. That dude... I don't know if that's actually how it looked or if that was a connection thing, but he was murdered. Muckducked. Let's see, we got this pink car going for the pass on our right. Let's see, totally we'll give that to them if that means safety. Alright, I feel like we're learning a lot about this car as we go, which is good, but unfortunate that we had to uh, learn in this manner <laughs> probably would have been to skip probably would have been better to skip this race and just uh, do laps in a practice server however this is a it's a fun way to go about doing it and if you're gonna pay for eye racing you might as well get some eye racing out of it and uh, we didn't really ruin really anybody's day we didn't we didn't uh, get in contact with anybody but ourselves so I feel good about that. So overall, uh, I think solid learning experience, but it's going to take a little bit longer to really learn what this car is like at the limit. As you can see, that pink car just pulling away from us. Uh, it's definitely going to take a little bit to uh, learn how this car behaves uh, at its limit and how to take it there and how to keep it there as efficiently as possible, as well as the best way to slow down and to brake because it seems as though it's not at all the best way to do it is to get all of the braking 100% done <laughs> before these corners you don't want any of the weight shifting in any any of the directions uh, while you're on the brakes all right so following this car I am learning a lot about where I can and cannot push this car and it really seems like that you could push this car very heavy if again you uh, nail your braking zone and you're not trying to slow down in the corner. If you're not trying to, if you've done all of the, the braking before your uh, turn, I uh, just ruined the car. That might have been a race over right there. Let's take a look at the replay while we're in our tow. Off course. E, that doesn't look good. Oof. We got a lot to learn. Oh wait, let's see. Back to race. Oh, did they repair the car? How they repaired that? No longer trying to push the limits of all at the car at all. Uh, I think now we're just going to try to both finish the race and still learn as much as we can about this car as we go. If nothing else, just sitting behind the wheel of it, turning out the laps uh, as if this was a practice server. But uh, we'll uh, accomplish that anyway. Uh, I'm at the. I think I'm at the point with this car where. I'm realizing how deep uh, the skill set is going to be on it. And it's not, even though it is a, um, a lower uh, level or lower licensed car, there's still uh, a lot more depth to it than I think uh, the Miata, the MX-5s, 
uh, have, and so I think learning this car is going to, to take a while, but I think it's going to be a very rewarding learn, and I think it actually will be one of those learns that improves your skill set, not just improves the way you can drive one vehicle. Uh, so I think I'll be able to take some information to the, the rest of my iRacing career as well as just sim racing in general. And from the, the fun aspect of this car and the price aspect of this car, I'm glad I didn't go with the Skip Barber just because it seemed like it was going to be way more expensive for a car that's a little bit... <sighs> uh, this seems just like a more, f a more fun and... Uh, not friendly, uh, it, but I feel like it's closer to the, the goal of the Formula car than the Skip Harbor. And um, I, I think that adds a sense of immersion, it, it adds a sense of fun, it adds, it adds a sense of excitement. Okay, let's just let these guys pass. Alright, we only have four more incident points until uh, potential DQ, so let's just keep it safe for this last lap. You know, not a great result per se, uh, not a great performance, but definitely a good learning experience. And uh, quite frankly, it did not go nearly as disastrous as I thought my first race in the series was going to go. So that being that, I think this was a solid introduction.